Hey guys, this is Master B again. This video will teach you how to do a good maintenance job for the DTF printer for Nebula Jet. So the, Neb the Nebula Jet DTF printer is loaded with pigment water-based ink. And we must do some maintenance job after print every day or uh, one week or one month we not print. As you know, the printer, the print head is the main core spare parts for a printer. So we must uh, maintain the print head really good. And also, you know, the print head is very expensive. So first, we must uh, prepare the clean solution for the print head to keep weight. The clean DTF print ink clean solution. And also, we must prepare the, the fabric tissue for cleaning the wrapper and the cap station. And also we must prepare the protection tools for must be to protect your finger. But don't matter, don't worry about it. The DTG ink is uh, not UV or not eco not solvent, did not hurt your finger. But for human beauty, it's better to take this. Must be a single for these minutes. Like, like this, okay? So you got clean solution, you got the clean tissue, you got your clean finger. Then we can start to do the maintenance job later. Let's go. So before we do the maintenance job, first we need to keep the machine power on and we go to the software, control software. We move out the carriage from home position. We press left. Then the carriage moves out of home position. Then we can see the cap station is dirty after one day printing. So first, we prepare the clean tissue that you will got from focus. We meet with the clean solution. Then we need to start to clean the wrapper first. We can see the wrapper is dirty. We must clean the wrapper every day after print because the way the ink stay on the surface of the wrapper will be, become solid. And if it's solid all the time, it will be easy to damage the print head during the wrapper, during the cleaning option. So you must clean it as brand new. After we clean the wrapper, then we start to clean the cap station, the two caps, one white, one for color. The edge of the wrapper, the wrapper, we must clean the waste ink out. Then we start to clean the wiper of white ink. We meet it with some clean solution. The outside ring of the rubber ring. Then we clean the surface 
of the cap station par palette. We can see some waste of ink that spread out during the during the print head flushing. We must keep the cap station brand new every day after print. Do a good maintenance job via make your machine easy to use and no problem and more stable. So after we clean the white ink print head cap station and the color ink print head print color ink print head cap station as brand new, also the wiper, then we can start to put the clean solution. Please remember, we can only use the, the clean solution that match with the ink to, for, to the cap station for keep weight. We cannot use the alcohol or any other liquid. Otherwise, the print head we have got clogged. So use the special clean solution that match with the ink. We fill a little bit. And then we put on the surface of the cap station for each. Not too much. Just keep it full. That's OK. For each both cap station. Then we keep the clean solution and the good environment after we use. So after we load the clean solution to the cap station, then we go back to the software, control software. We press X home to make the cap station back to home, home position and keep weight automatically. So press X home the carriage go back to home position and the cap station start to move up for suck the print head wear without leaking air. So this is all the procedure to keep weight the print head every day after print. And also every day before before you print start to print the job, you need to do the cleaning process before you print again next day. And also if the machine you start, you're not working for two or three days. You need to do a, first, you need to do a small test print every day. And also pay attention to the clean solution on the surface, uh, on the cap station, to be sure the clean solution on the top of the cap station will not be dry. If, you, if it's dry, you need to refill again. Anyway, we must be sure the print head, two print head, is keep weight with the cap station by the clean, clean solution. But this way, the ink will not be dry, and also the print head service will be keep weight. So this way, we will make your print head without clock, and also can start to print next time quickly. So this is the procedure to maintain the print head. And also, except the print head, we need to do the cleaning job for all the machine to keep the machine clean. And also, we fear the oil for the rear for X-ray for some uh, one week or two weeks to be sure the rear can move really without any dust. And then after we keep cap station good, then we can start to pop off the machine directly. We go to the machine and then we power off. After power off, we can see the cap station still not move, and the carriage also locked. The carriage is locked. It's not move. It's locked. So also we must be sure the cap station is locked, and do not touch the cap station after we did the maintenance job. Keep with job to be sure it's not shaking, it's not moving, because if we move the position but we're not back to the 
you know, back to the cap station and do the, the keep away job again, then the ink, the clean solution may be dry as it leak, leak air. And then we need to install back the cover to protect the print head damper without dust. Then we put back the cover to the carriage to lock the both screw, tighten it. Then we move the carriage back to home position to go to the software. We press X home. So this is the all the procedure to do the maintenance job for the printer head, for rear, for machine power off. And you must do this maintenance job every day after you print. It's very important. And you must keep the machine clean and remove everything from the table to protect the, print, the printer. And also, do not do any modifying on the printer. Do not change any setting as default or change any electronic system. If you don't know the machine, please contact focus support team before you do the operation. OK, so this is all the procedure to installation, from the installation and to using, to rip, to print, to the powder, powder system processing and for maintenance. This is all the installation guidance for the Focus Nebula Jet 62F printer. So any question, please contact Focus Support team. Thank you.